Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to All About App Script. My name is Grant Timmerman, and I'm a, a Google developer platform engineer in San Francisco, California, and I work on Google Cloud. Uh, specifically, for this talk, I'd like to speak about a G Suite. Uh, G Suite, what is it? Well, it includes everything from uh, Google Calendar, tasks, slides, sheets, contacts, Drive, Gmail, the admin SDK, and a whole bunch more. Um, so let's talk about App Script. Feel free to tweet at me <laughs> at Grant Timmerman. But first, I would really love to take a selfie with y'all. So if y'all can smile. Yes. You're magical. Magical. <laughs> Woo. Cool. Uh, this is uh, this means zipai. It's selfie in Chinese. So hopefully you you learn that at least. So G Suite. It's part of Google Cloud. And uh, so this is all of Google Cloud from Google Cloud Platform, uh, G Suite, Maps, Chrome Enterprise. And so we're going to be focusing just on G Suite today. So G, G Suite, as I mentioned, it's everything from Gmail, Google Drive, Calendar, to Docs, Sheets, Slides, Forms, as well as the Admin SDK and Google Classroom. So the proposed agenda is first talking about what is this app script? Um, I guess, uh, as a show of hands, who here has heard of app script? Okay, uh, two, three, four people. Don't be shy. Yeah? <laughs> OK, cool. About five people in the room. Uh, then uh, we're going to talk about Google Sheets, custom functions, how you can uh, create your own formulas using some app script in Google Sheets. Uh, Google Slides add-ons. This came out uh, two years ago that, that allows you to extend the native functionality of Google Slides. Uh, Gmail add-ons. This allows you to write extensions to Gmail that works both on uh, desktop and mobile. Uh, the App Script CLI, Clasp, this allows you to manage uh, your scripts from the command line, sort of like uh, Git. And open source, something I'm really passionate about, how you can leverage uh, some of the existing snippets and uh, code that people have already written. For example, you don't, you don't have to re rewrite your Hangouts chat bot. Uh, you could just uh, download one from GitHub. And then lastly, uh, q and A. I I would really love uh, to hear from you and see what questions you have about App Script or just about Google Cloud in general. Feel free to catch me after. So as, as I already asked, about five people have used App Script in this group before. So really, uh, what is App Script? And more importantly, when I'm learning new technologies, what, what can it do? Like, how can I use it? How can I benefit from it? Well, so AppScript is a serverless JavaScript runtime for G Suite uh, automation, extension, and integration. So there's uh, three key things in this statement. First, that it's serverless. Of course, there are servers, uh, but you just don't need to manage them. Uh, it all runs in Google's cloud, and you don't need to worry about how much memory, how, uh, how your application scales, things like that. Second, it's just JavaScript. So you don't have to learn a new language. Uh, if you can read this, this is just a function. Uh, it's actually a preview for one of the demos uh, we'll be showing, where uh, whenever we open a Google Slides presentation, um, we'll sh show some items in the add-on menu. And then third, it's integrated with Google. So if, if you're interested in using any of these uh, services by Google, uh, anything from AdSense to Google Analytics, BigQuery, it's uh, usually one line of code to actually use that service within App Script. Uh, OAuth is integrated uh, in App Script, which is really great. So some of the advantages, like why, why would you use App Script versus just using Node or, or Python, right? Um, well, one is the uh, integration with Google. So uh, App Script allows you to extend the functionality of Google products with uh, just a little bit of code. So for example, if you're trying to send an email, um, it's one line of code. Adding a row to a spreadsheet, one line of code. Creating a Google Doc, one line of code. 
sort of get the picture. Second, uh, as I mentioned before, no OAuth code is needed. Um, so AppScript natively integrates with Google APIs, meaning you don't need to write any of that service account authentication code. You don't need to worry about uh, where you manage your credentials. Um, your scripts will automatically prompt you if the user hasn't used the script before, if they haven't uh, said, hey, you can send an email on my behalf. Um, and you just uh, you log in with uh, your G Suite account. And third, it's serverless. So uh, AppScript runs on Google's cloud. It's the same in infrastructure that runs Google Drive or uh, Gmail, for example. You don't need to download any SDK or library. And did I mention that AppScript is free? So it's really great uh, for um, people that are just learning uh, how to use APIs, and especially students, in, uh, for example. So the integration with Google services. So uh, in particular, uh, AppScript powers add-ons that can be integrated with things like uh, Google Maps, Translate, Drive, et cetera. So this is uh, some of your G Suite uh, applications. So like Google Slides, uh, Google Sheets, uh, Gmail, et cetera. Uh, AppScript not just works with them, but also the rest of the uh, Google family. Second, uh, no OAuth code is needed. And it's serverless. So you don't need to accept anything. Of course, there are servers involved. You just don't need to you care about them. I really love this, Jeff. Cool. And then uh, some of the disadvantages. Uh, first, it's not Node. So if you're trying to access the uh, file system or trying to use uh, Node modules, uh, you're not able to do that. Uh, second, it's a different flavor of JavaScript. Um, so uh, since AppScript tightly in integrates with Google APIs, uh, it may take a little bit uh, time to actually fully understand what, what AppScript can do. And then third uh, is that uh, AppScript is often user-driven. So um, for example, uh, whenever a user opens an email, you can trigger some AppScript, or whenever uh, a user uh, like opens a new slide deck or runs a button. Um, you can do it in a use uh, action on their behalf. Cool. Already went through these before, um, and it's user driven. Well, yeah, sure. So that's a lot of talk. But like, what can you actually do? Like, let's say you go home tonight and you want to go try this app script thing. Um, well, like what, what, what can it do for you and, and how can it be useful? In particular, what can you build with AppScript? With AppScript, you can build three things. First is add-ons. Add-ons are like mini applications that live within G Suite and you can publish them to the G Suite marketplace. So for example, if you're, uh, let's say Colgate, and you want to build an add-on for your sales team, uh, that's installed for all of the people in your G Suite uh, account for sales. Uh, well, you can do that, and it can live like a mini application within G Suite. Second, you can build standalone web apps. So these are uh, applications that you can allow just for your uh, internal G Suite org, or for the, uh, the whole wide world. And third, you can build automations. These are like cron jobs or background tasks. Let's say like every Friday, go send an email to my manager with a summary of all the Google Drive files that I touched. That would be an example. And so in particular, add-ons uh, extend G Suite products so that you can get the things done uh, need to do fun faster. So AppScript powers uh, docs add-ons, Google Sheets functions and add-ons, forms add-ons, slides add-ons, Gmail add-ons. And there's going to be a bunch more in the future. Uh, you get started at script.google.com, where you can write app script, run functions, even debug code with breakpoints. Uh, the interface looks like this. And you have a, a code editor right there, then and there. Cool. So Google Docs. Who here uses Google Docs? Everyone. <laughs> awesome. 
Uh, well, did you know you can build uh, sidebar applications uh, in Google Docs? <laughs> Feel free to raise your hand. <laughs> well, so uh, this one, uh, it's super. So I don't know about you, but um, when I was in college, I heavily relied on Wolfram Alpha uh, for uh, a lot of my computation, um, just, just for verifying my results, of course, right? Um, and so uh, here, this Wolfram Alpha app, uh, you can actually search everything from the calories in a banana to uh, the uh, plot of sine of x squared. And you can even insert the image back into your Google Doc. Here's another example of uh, Translate. So uh, let's say you need to, um, you want to use Google Translate and you want to use Google Docs. Well, uh, why do you have to switch between these two products? Why can't they just be integrated, right? Uh, well, here, this is a, a pretty popular add-on you can install uh, just through the add-ons menu um, of Translate Plus. Uh, allows you to translate from one language to another, even specify the bridge language. Cool. So let's, enough talking. Uh, let's actually see, see some of this in action. Cool. So here's a Google Doc. And so to get to our add-ons, we just uh, we have all these menu items, and I've built one called a translate add-on. So we can just start it, run the script, and here we have this little sidebar. And let's say I'm not familiar with Japanese, so let's uh, translate this back into English. Well, so here, uh, this uses just the translation API with Google. You can insert it back. Maybe we want to format it back. And here, uh, this simply translates it back into English. Um, and we can also translate, of course, from English into other languages. So let's translate here. Uh, we wrote the first, uh, we first wrote these 10 things when Google was just a few years old. So, do we have any Chinese speakers here? Google Gang Gang Ji Sui Shi Oman Dan Xian Xia Sama Sama Da. I can read a little bit of it. But um, I believe it's accurate. Cool. Google Sheets. Uh, so with Google Sheets, uh, App Script can power custom functions and add-ons like we saw just before. It's actually really powerful. It's uh, the first use of Google App Script. So uh, I have a question for y'all. Uh, who here owns any Bitcoin? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's uh, pretty numerous. We have about uh, seven people, I saw. Uh, well, I mean, it's the currency of the future, right? <laughs> that's, that's just me speaking, not, not like Google or G Suite or anything. Um, right? But, uh, well, so uh, Google Sheets doesn't natively have a Bitcoin function. So uh, why, why don't uh, we just add one? Well, with Google Apps Script, uh, you can add custom functions. So here, I wrote a custom function. Can you all see that? Let me zoom in a bit. So here, uh, we have a custom function called BTC. It gets the Bitcoin price at a certain date. And we get all this nice auto completion. And uh, if you bought a single Bitcoin in 2010, uh, it was just a quarter. So with the power of uh, Google Sheets, you can simply just uh, click the bottom right corner. You can see, wow, Bitcoin has done really great until very recently. Um, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, so um, how did we write that function? Well, so actually, just uh, the magic way to get to App Script is going to Tools and then Script Editor. Here we have a function just in JavaScript uh, where we accept a date. If we don't have a date, then we're just going to say today. 
And then we're going to use the uh, Coinbase API to fetch uh, the Bitcoin price in US dollars at a specific date. Uh, we're gonna pass the Coinbase version because the API requires that. And this is my bear token. Please don't copy that. Um, and then uh, we're just going to parse our JSON and return them out. And so that's how uh, the Bitcoin function works. Um, cool. Did you know that you can also uh, create buttons in Google Sheets? No? Well, so uh, you actually can insert a drawing. Uh, so this is a quick tip. And you can insert a shape. Let's just insert. a uh, little drawing like that. And then let's say uh, we want to assign a script. So uh, I've actually written a script called BTC email. I believe it's called that. Actually, it's capitalized, so let me fix that. But uh, what this will do it's just a button in Google Sheets. And uh, it'll send me an email uh, where I have an email right here. It's also, don't have any personal emails. Actually, I do. Um, <laughs> but you can see, wow, I, I got a new email um, with the Bitcoin price of that date. So how does that work? Cool, it's really simple. Uh, we just used the previous function. BTC, which we called uh, call there. And then we just simply call mailapp.send email to my email and with a subject and a body. So just in one line of code, it's really easy to send an email. Cool. Um, so this is the code. Uh, so yeah, we're basically just doing a fetch call to uh, Coinbase. Cool, and I just showed you how you can do buttons. Um, you can do more advanced things, like uh, let's say you had a CRM, maybe you, have, uh, you use Salesforce, and you want to import all that data into Google Sheets, and then uh, present that data with Google Slides every quarter. Well, uh, at Dreamforce, last year I built a, a demo that does just that. So you log in with Salesforce, and you can say, hey, uh, you're allowed to use my uh, opportunities table, and then it'll just import the data. Um, it'll do some sorting uh, by expected revenue. And then you can just insert a new chart. And then here, once, you're, once you have a chart, you just uh, can customize it however you like. Uh, maybe we want to slant the labels. And just Command C and Command V into Google Sheet uh, Slides. And you'll actually have a linked uh, chart. So whenever the data updates, you don't have to like, keep updating your slides. So that's really cool. Uh, that's a really uh, a real world example of how uh, this is built in AppScript and um, how you could use this maybe for your sales team. Cool, Google Slides. Uh, so uh, does anybody know what this means? In Spanish, translate. Also Chinese. Um, well, so we have a translation demo, um, sort of similar to the last one, of how you can uh, translate uh, your slide decks from one language to another. So for example, maybe you're presenting and you'd like to translate your slides uh, from English into 10 different languages, but you don't want to manually translate it. Well, you can just use AppScript and use the translation demo to do just that. Um, also, uh, who here uh, uses YouTube? Yeah? I mean, like, everybody, right? Okay, I, I use way too much YouTube. Um, so I'm always wondering, uh, well, so I had this idea, say, uh, hey, like, I don't know how long this presentation is going to be. It'd be really nice, sort of like YouTube, where you can see the progress bar, uh, the progress of that uh, presentation. So I built uh, an add-on in Google Slides to do just that. It's actually attached to this presentation. So it just runs a script. And it might take a while for 
long presentation. How are we doing on time, too? Do you know? OK. Uh, cool. And then um, you can see the bottom. Uh, do you get rid of this? Well, it's actually off screen. Wow, that's not great. But there is a progress bar. Uh, yeah, there is a progress bar. I mean, you see it here. Um, for every slide. So that's cool. Um, so how does that work? Well, so uh, first it deletes any progress bars um, that might be there. And then this is all just JavaScript. Uh, for every slide, we're going to just get the ratio of completion. Um, and then we're going to slide, at that slide, insert a new rectangle shape at the x, y, and the width and the height. And we just, we don't want to border on this rectangle. And the set link ID is just to remember the uh, rectangle. So when we delete it, we can just delete that rectangle, not all the rectangles. So similarly with delete bars, uh, we just look over all the slides, and then uh, if we're a rectangle, and that link is the special ID, then we're just going to remove it. Cool. In fact, we have a, a YouTube video on Google developers on how to do just this, um, making progress with Google Slides. Uh, Gmail add-ons allows you to uh, write these add-ons on desktop and mobile. Um, so for example, with Asana, QuickBooks, Trello, they've all written add-ons that you can just uh, download as many applications with the G within Gmail. The structure looks like this. You have a, a defined card where uh, the UI is a little bit more rigid, but it allows you to uh, have applications that work on mobile too. So here are some examples. Prosper uh, has a contacts app, and QuickBooks, you can uh, automatically invoice your Uber rides, for example, to QuickBooks. We also have some uh, examples on GitHub, uh, on G Suite devs, slash Gmail add-on samples. Here, uh, for example, I don't know about you, but I get these emails from GitHub. And sometimes, if I'm on, especially I'm on vacation, uh, the email might be two weeks old. And the issue, it'll say, like, there's a new issue, um, and nobody's assigned. But the email is actually old. The content's old. Like, the issue has been closed. It's already been assigned, things like that. And so this uh, GitHub add-on uh, uses the GitHub API and displays real-time information in, within your email. Pretty cool. You can also uh, download this uh, meeting assistant app that allows you to uh, create a meeting with everybody in the to field of your email. And it finds uh, a time that works with everybody given their calendars. Cool. One last demo. Um, so let's say we have this uh, Bitcoin price. And maybe I want to um, add a Trello task. Well, let me just press the Trello button. And here, we can just, uh, here I just, well, first of all, I guess uh, showing the G Suite marketplace. Here you can install uh, hundreds of applications that are already pre-built. So maybe you don't want to use App Script, you just want to download something that uh, someone's already built. Well, we can do that there. Um, and with Trello, I'm just going to create an ad. Uh, and then I can just view on Trello, and I can see I created a new to-do item. So that's cool. Cool, I'm gonna skip that slide. Skip that. Um, advanced services. So uh, let's say you want to use any of these uh, Google APIs. Well, so advanced services allows you to do that. Um, if you wanna use BigQuery, you wanna use AdSense, um, use Google Tasks, um, et cetera. So for example, uh, I like the YouTube API. The YouTube API is really powerful, and it's really quick um, to use within Google Apps Script. 
So let's query for the top 10 uh, YouTube videos of Orlando, Florida. Cool. Here I have a little bit of app script. And let me just run this function. And let me walk through the code while it runs. So I'm running a function called create slides. It's just some JavaScript where it gets the YouTube uh, videos as JSON. And here, we're doing a YouTube's.search.list uh, for the ID and snippet. We just want 10 results. Then we're going to return the JSON, which is the URL, the title, and the thumbnail. And then once we have all the, uh, the YouTube data, we're going to create a new slide presentation. And uh, we're going to just append the video to a new slide. Cool, I've logged out the new presentation that's just generated. And here is a brand new presentation. Cool, so it has, I mean this is like really useful if you're doing like basic market research and like maybe you wanna see like what are the top 10 videos like uh, or of this like location or this company. So I think it's pretty cool. I actually used it, uh, I was learning the saxophone um, earlier last year, and I just uh, searched uh, saxophone tutorials, and I went through a, a presentation sort of similar to this. Cool. Again, uh, the code looks like this. It's not too bad. It's also on GitHub, um, where you just search for the YouTube uh, results. And we return the data. And here we just create a new slide presentation and then insert videos every slide. Cool. As I mentioned, there's a whole marketplace. Uh, if you just want to download some of the existing applications, now build one yourself. Cool. Uh, next, I want to talk about Clasp and how uh, you can. You don't have to use the App Script editor. Let's say you want to use Visual Studio Code or or IntelliJ or something. Um, with uh, your code. Uh, well, so Clasp allows you to do that. Um, there's this meme uh, of, of Bunny, and uh, so if you want to use App Script, well, uh, traditionally you'd have to use script.google.com, but with uh, this open source project that I've been working on, um, it allows you to uh, just uh, write functions from the command line. Cool. Um, it has all these different features, but this is what it looks like. So like, you can create a new script. Um, this will use uh, the Google Drive API and the Google App Script API, uh, and it'll create a new script uh, within your account. Um, you can echo functions, and sort of like Git, you can class Git push or class push, and even deploy your functions as add-ons. So it, it helps with combining code, and uh, building non-trivial add-ons. Cool, it's an open source project. I encourage you to check it out on github.com slash google slash clasp. It's really cool how uh, open source developers are contributing to this feature. So in particular, this, uh, there's this developer, uh, Campion Fallon, in Seattle, and he's submitted, as you can see, hundreds, like dozens of PRs. Uh, and so that's really great. Uh, if, if you're, who here is a fan of TypeScript? Yeah, okay, a uh, third of the room. Um, well, so TypeScript uh, allows for a great auto-completion with JavaScript, basically. Um, and so here I'm actually writing the same Bitcoin demo, uh, but in TypeScript. So here we're going to just get a lot of auto-completion, like format date, and getting a new date, et cetera. Um, and uh, we can do some more auto-completion, and you sort of get the idea. Cool, so uh, with TypeScript, you get some advantages of uh, statically typed uh, error checking. Uh, it's all optional, so you can just convert your GS or JS file to TS. And then, 
We have great auto completion and tooling support. There's a, a code lab if you're interested in learning about this tool at g.io slash code lab slash class. There's a great dashboard. And uh, uh, so in summary, there's a bunch of tools. There's a cloud IDE, there's a dashboard, stack driver logs, and there's this uh, API and CLI class. So I won't go into it, but there's a lot of open source you can leverage. Uh, just go to developer.google.com slash app script. Or just search on GitHub. Uh, we have hundreds of samples uh, on GitHub as well. Cool. Thank you so much. My name is Grant Timmerman, and uh, feel free to ask me any questions afterwards. Thank you.